Good afternoon. <clears throat> On behalf of the Liberty County Board of Commissioners and our sister cities, it is our continued effort to keep you updated on how we're addressing the COVID epidemic, or the COVID pandemic, excuse me, in Liberty County. The Coastal Health District has been very proactive in giving invaluable assistance to us during this time, and we really appreciate them for that. We appreciate them and all of our frontline heroes, uh, wherever you are, and even those who are behind the lines who serve us every day during this time. Thank you so very much. Until such time as we hear differently from the CDC and the governor's office, I strongly advise that we stay the course. Your personal level of comfort, and I hope it errs on the side of caution, trumps any federal, state, or local decree. Safety first is our war cry. Safety first is our war cry. Thank you again for your compliance and for your, and for your shared commitment to making it through these challenging times. We are in this together. We're here now from the Mayor of Hinesville, the Honorable Allen Brown. I just designated him to be next. Thank you, Chairman Lovett. And, and good afternoon from the Mayor of Hinesville, Alan Brown. You may not recognize me. I'm beginning to need a haircut, and my place is not open yet. And, you know, I'm not like Mr. Howard and Mr. Lovett. They don't have to worry too much about that. All they got to do is kind of rub on the top of their head. There have been a lot of big changes happening over the last several weeks around here uh, with the gradual halting of life as we know it to combat the virus that has been unprecedented or has had an unprecedented impact on our daily life in this city, in this county, in this state, and our country. As you're aware, the governor and his team released last week that Georgia is at a point where we can begin to reopen businesses and transition, which I underline, transition back to a more normal operation. Not completely normal, but a little more normal. Kemp's order, if you haven't read it, is pretty significant. I'm not going to read it today. Uh, it, it's uh, in lengthy and details the measures businesses and entities shall and may put in place in order to, con to reopen and continue operations. And I use the word shall and may in order to bring your attention to their significance in the document itself. Please take time to read any sections pertinent to your industry or your business. If there are, many, there are as there are many guidelines that should be in place for you to operate to protect employees and customers alike, just as there are many guidelines listed for you for added layers and protection. Um, and since the governor's law, his order runs out, I think, tomorrow, and he's got a new one that steps in place, we have to follow that. But we in the county and the other cities will be adopting our local uh, orders to comply with the governors, hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, we cannot begin to even predict whether or not this will change between now and then, the governors, uh, but please be advised, and, and his new order runs out on May 13th, and uh, so you just have to stay tuned. You, you never know when something may change. The shelter-in-place order does end tomorrow, uh, and as I said, the city of Hinesville and the counties and the other cities will be, I'm sure, getting together to put their new orders into effect that mirror the governor's. Uh, and there will not be a shelter in place order in effect. Gatherings are still not allowed under the new orders. Face masks, and I have one here in the room, are strongly encouraged uh, for all residents outside of their homes. This is very, and there is very specific language about this in the order. Uh, we're now entering into a transitional period, uh, one where we try to incrementally reopen our economy here in Hinesville and Liberty County and in our state in such a way as to benefit and protect residents, as our chairman said, to benefit and protect our residents, but especially those small business proprietors who make up the backbone of all the economic prosperity in this country. We were strong before this started and we will be strong again. 
it's difficult to predict whether or not this transition back to open economy will result in the same version of normal we had in January, uh, or if it will look different. Again, we cannot even begin to predict that, but the priorities remain the same. The health, safety, and prosperity of the citizens and residents of the of City of Hinesville in Liberty County. All the documents published by the governor and his team can be found on his website or on our city or the county's website. I strongly encourage you to familiarize yourself with the guidelines found in them and let us know if you have questions either by Facebook or email. Uh, and I was happy to hear that the health department is working with the uh, food and beverage places to help them comply with all the guidelines to see that they will before they get completely open. Uh, I'm always proud to be a member of the Hinesville community and honored to be given the responsibility to be your mayor. In the last several weeks, I have been uh, proud of this community and its response to dealing with COVID-19. We have risen up to support our health care workers, our first responders, uh, and we've policed ourselves, and, and we've been making an effort to understand the importance of limiting our interactions. Our confirmed cases numbers have remained fairly consistent and relatively low in the last few weeks. And I want to thank you, those of you that have uh, abided by the recommendations issued by the city, county, and the state. You have helped us do this, and we thank you. But we're not done with this thing yet, although I'm pretty optimistic that we will be sometime pretty soon. But now I will... But now I think we all understand if we didn't do this before, our decision at this time uh, do have a ripple effect on those around us. So for now, I ask that you hang in there with this order uh, and maintain the course. For those who have not been adhering to the guidelines issued, I ask you to consider those of your immediate and extended family, your friends and neighbors. Help us protect them by listening to the recommendations set forth. It's not for after, forever. It's about two weeks, according to my calculations, unless it gets extended. Stay home unless you must go out. Wear a mask when you need to go out and leave the house. Uh, look out for your friends and your neighbors, and we'll all get to the finish line together. Thank you. Mayor Brown, Chairman Levitt, thank you. Citizens of Walthavia, we are in this together, and we are going to get through it. We are still in the, our care mode protection and all our essential workers are protected with their PPE. Face shields will be worn as an added layer for protection. Temperature checks on every employee is still being taken. The Public Works Department is operational, the Water Department and the Road Department. The weather is getting warmer and, and we ensure that all our employees will stay hydrated. Utility payment can always be made 24 seven online or you can use our drop box that's in the um, drive through Please, please, please ma'am, please, sir, no cash. Citizens, I still encourage you, each of you, to continue sheltering at home. This virus is still dangerous and deadly. Thank you for adhering to the policies. Our emergency number, 912-977-6889. Uh, Again, we are all in this together, but we are going to get through it together. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Kenneth Howard, city manager for the city of Hinesville. And I just want to echo uh, what the mayor, uh, the mayors really have said, and that is uh, we're not actually out of the woods just yet. Uh, we must continue uh, to stay the course. Uh, but we are in a transitional period uh, to open the economy. As the, ju as the, uh, the, the governor has said, uh, there are specific businesses that has been allowed uh, to open, and as a result, um, there are some preventive measures that must be implemented. And that's what we're doing, and we'll be diligently um, looking uh, for those uh, preventive measures as it relates to social distancing and hand sanitizing and those type of things that uh, we know that is conducive to uh, uh, preventing the spread of this uh, disease. Now, uh, as it relates to our economy, uh, I am uh, 
uh, encouraged by what I've seen thus, uh, thus far. Uh, although the governor has um, allowed for certain businesses to open over the last week, uh, as I ride through the city of Hinesville and Liberty County, um, there are many businesses that have decided not to open just yet. And I have spoken with several of the owners and proprietors of those businesses. And what they are telling me is that uh, they need to make sure that they have uh, the PPEs uh, in place to make sure that they have their hand sanitizing equipment, et cetera. Uh, and so that tells me that um, all that we've done over the past five, six weeks is, uh, is not for, uh, at a loss. Uh, we have really um, changed the way that we've conducted business. Uh, we've changed the way that we interact in the community and it is for the cause of uh, basically uh, protecting one another. And so we're excited about that. I've had a couple of questions as it relates to the uh, recreational facilities in the county and in the city of Hinesville itself. The city of Hinesville has uh, two facilities primarily, the RMB Thomas Park and the Bryant Commons uh, uh, facility. Uh, we will be uh, discussing the reopening of these facilities primarily to give the citizens an opportunity to uh, partake in exercising uh, activities at these parks. Uh, we have the uh, Bryant Commons Park has uh, a walking trail. We'll allow activities such as that. However, there will be uh, no activities as it relates to the playground structure. We're going to prohibit those type of activities for the obvious reason. Uh, and likewise, one of the most beautiful part that we have in the state of Georgia, for that matter, uh, we, uh, the Irene B. Thomas Park, uh, which has a lake, a uh, pond, and, and that pond uh, is, um, there's a walking trail at the perimeter uh, of that pond. Uh, and we need to allow citizens to take advantage of that as well. And so we'll be making uh, uh, some adjustment as to what you can and cannot do at these parks. But for the most part, part over the next uh, couple of days, uh, you hear more about the reopening of these parks. And again, I say that uh, continue doing what you're doing, Liberty Countyans. Uh, we're proud of you. We, I think we are um, beyond the point of uh, escalation of the, of the virus, I believe. However, we're not out of the woods just yet, so let's stay the course. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Joey Brown, I'm the County Administrator, and uh, appreciate everybody um, in, in this whole event and how it's worked as we work together. I, I, I think uh, a little bit remiss if I didn't say this, is that all throughout this, uh, we have a series of briefings with all the community leaders, all the mayors, uh, Fort Stewart, Garrison Commander, and in some cases, uh, the commanding general is able to join. Uh, we also have some conference calls each week with the uh, district health director in the adjoining counties as we talk about things that are common to the, to the counties. And the first thing, uh, we will be addressing the re-up of our order, uh, much as uh, just as the cities are going to do. Ours uh, is set to expire tomorrow. Uh, at this point, the new order that's been drafted for consideration by the commission would not change anything uh, that's in place. Uh, it does just come... Uh, pretty much basically say we're going to comply with the governor's order and just as a reminder uh, counties or cities are not allowed at this point to do anything stronger or or in more way um, uh, more restrictive uh, than the governor's order so even though there may be some cases where in times we want to do that we're not able to do that i do want to address a couple of things uh, administratively uh, and one is uh, just like mr howard mentioned we're being questioned a little bit on the county side about how soon recreation events can start uh, this really came, I think, really started after the governor uh, opened up some, some businesses and, and um, we started trying to think about ways to restart uh, the government and restart the economy. Uh, I would tell you that at this point, neither is it being recommended nor is it being thought that immediately we would start any organized activities. Um, District Health Director this morning addressed a little bit with graduations uh, and things like that and, and hearing him try to walk through some of the things just in his mind that might be required in trying to hold even drive by uh, graduations would be pretty onerous uh, so again as we start to talk about gatherings and restarting organized events uh, we are having those conversations but uh, they it, they will start back up in a much different format uh, than they closed uh, so uh, say about that 
Um, mayor mentioned restaurants, district health director mentioned this morning in his call that they are involved, as the mayor mentioned, in restarting some of those restaurants and making sure they're in compliance. Uh, they started those inspections actually uh, during the week last week and are continuing this week uh, to, to, uh, to look at compliance efforts. Um, we have an election coming up. Uh, it's been scheduled and then postponed and then postponed again. Right now it's June 9th, presidential primary. Uh, at this point, uh, all polling precincts, 13 of them countywide, are expected to be open. However, uh, there, there is a list of criteria that's being formed by Secretary of State's office and looked at by us uh, for compliance in those polling places. So uh, I would ask folks that uh, if you can absentee vote, do absentee vote. Uh, and, and that period is set out there on the election website in Secretary of State. If you do choose to come to the polls, uh, just be patient. There are going to be some screenings and checks uh, for everybody's safety that are going to be implemented, and we're looking at uh, those compliance efforts now. Uh, there will be more to come out there. Uh, we would give you an update as to what those are before those polls open. In one of our briefings today, we did understand that the Georgia Supreme Court is going to meet to talk about restarting the court system. Now, whether this will exactly happen and when it will happen is uncertain. I don't exactly have the date they're going to meet, uh, but once we have that information, obviously that will be pushed out through several different sources to you also. Uh, we are having some discussion about our buildings and at what point they might reopen for traffic. Uh, we don't have a date peg for that yet, and obviously it will depend on what the Supreme Court does and some other things. But almost like recreation events uh, uh, and polling places, I would tell you that please be patient as we reopen those buildings whenever that time comes because there will be some sanitizing requirements uh, that are being put in place at the county buildings uh, when that time does come. We've been asked uh, really by the Department of Public Health to consider a one day a week testing site, actually half a day, uh, one time a week testing site. That's an uh, initiative they're trying to put into place in every county in the state of Georgia. Uh, previous to that, there's been two testing sites close to us that the Department of Public Health has stood up. One has been in Glenn and one has been in Chatham. So uh, we're trying to work out the logistics of that. A um, little bit of confusion I want to address. Um, on the Department of Health website, uh, there is a flyer that talks about free COVID testing. Um, there are still criteria that you have to meet uh, in order to be tested. And so uh, on their website, there's a number that's provided. Uh, you can call about testing. You will still have to go through a, uh, a verbal screen. Uh, and then if you qualify, a Department of Health employee will give you a number, a certification number, that you can take to a testing site. So a little bit of clarification on that. And again, as that testing site, if that testing site and when it does stand up in the county, uh, we'll be making an announcement about that also. Um, governor's order is due to expire on May 13th. We don't have any kind of read as to whether it might be a relaxation of some, some things further. Uh, we'll monitor that very closely and obviously provide you with what information uh, that we can give you there. Um, gatherings are still prohibited. And I know Mr. Howard mentioned this a little bit too. Um, saw some things come in on Facebook a minute ago about parties still being thrown and arcades being open. If you have any of those things that are occurring uh, and you need to report those, report those to your law enforcement agency uh, for compliance. They still will be monitored. Last couple of things I think I want to mention really are, are some bookkeeping things here or some um, not bookkeeping, but just, uh, I guess, technical stuff related to this Facebook broadcast. So, so we do this in order, obviously, to get you the information out there in the best way possible. We also do it to provide an avenue or a venue for you to ask legitimate questions related to the COVID incident. Um, there have been a couple of cases where we've had some vulgarities and some things that have appeared on the Facebook site or uh, things that were not related to the COVID virus, uh, strong opinions that, again, in some way uh, were vulgar in nature. I just wanted to let everybody know those will be removed immediately, and in some cases where they continue to be sent uh, by the same sender, that sender will be blocked from the site. Uh, and that's unfortunate that we have to do that, but uh, I just wanted you to know that um, that, that is the protocol that we're going to use uh, for this Facebook. With that, I'll step aside and yield back to the chairman. Thank you, Mr. Brown, Mayor Brown, and Mayor Baker, and each of you, Kenny Howard, in this room today. <clears throat> Earlier, it was 
Mr. Howard made mention of the uh, spirit of collaboration that we all have, and we do have that. And Liberty County, I want to let you know that you're in good hands with this team that represents you. Uh, we don't take it for granted. In fact, we really take this very, very seriously, uh, that we provide the best information we have for your welfare and your health care. So I can say sincerely from my heart that you are in the best of hands, other than, of course, the hands of God. Uh, but we do offer our services to you continually. We ask you to stay the course, as we've said before. And I just tell you this, you know, make it personal. If you don't feel safe, don't do it. If you don't feel safe, just don't do it. There's no reason to hurry. There's no reason to hurry. We will return to some level of normalcy. Now, that won't be the normalcy that we had before this. I promise you that. Things will never be the same. There'll be more hand sanitizer in courtrooms and in <laughs> city halls and, <laughs> and places like this than ever been before. That's going to be the new, uh, the, new, the new norm for us. So. But it doesn't hurt. It's a help to us. Uh, there have been some predictions already of perhaps to expect uh, some of uh, the coronavirus uh, to show up during the flu season of the fall of this year. So we have to maintain our vigilance. We have to maintain, we have to uh, stay in a spirit of, like the military, a spirit of readiness at all times, at all times. So let's, let's, let's keep that up. Uh, we also um, uh, have a high level of concern in our present concern to our school system for what they must be ramping up for even as, as it comes to school year. Uh, this fall that's coming up, it won't be the same day either. So we're all in this together. It'll be different for us, but I'm convinced that we can make it uh, as a team. I'm convinced that we can make it if we stay vigilant. I'm convinced that we will make it if we put the citizens' concerns first. That we've done, and that we shall continue to do. Have a great day on behalf of the leadership of Liberty County, Georgia.